संजीवनी अने कोरोना योद्धाओं ना सम्मान नुआ कार्य कर मास्क समझ में आई रिंकु समझ में नहीं आया तू जरा समझाओ ये समझाती हूँ तो अजंगी रे जो मेरी फिल्म आ रही है उसमें हमारे किरदार का नाम है रिंकु and I take her very personally so I like to wear this mask why do you take her so personally honestly I think it's one of the most nuanced layered exciting complex characters that I've played and um, Ananji, who's the director of this film, has oftentimes told me that it's the kind of film that I think is going to stick around. Yesterday, I met Dhanursa after really long, and um, we watched parts of the film. And um, he looked at me and he was like, I feel you're about to get emotional because you're really going to miss Rinku. Yeah. And uh, I think he's right. True. So, so yeah. when did you start shooting for this? Is this your first COVID character? <laughs> if I may ask you that. Uh, you know, it's actually... Um, uh, this film has a lot to do with COVID um, uh, because I still remember on the 19th of March, 2020, I was shooting a holy sequence yeah. with about 200 extras. Wow. Uh, and it was holy, uh, which means proximity, color, um, you know, water. So it was like a lot of all of this in Banaras. And on the 20th of March, I was at home and we were in lockdown. Mm. Huh. And um, that was that. It, it was just such a paradigm shift to go from this hectic set to lockdown. That's what I wanted to talk to you about, Sarah, because it was, it's not a natural way of life, right? You're being locked down. You're not being able to reach out to friends and family. For many people, they found themselves isolated for large parts of time. What was your coping mechanism? How did you deal with that? So, like I said, I think that the, it, it took some time. It definitely wasn't easy because from going being on a high energy yeah. set, you're surrounded just surrounded by people. Yeah. Surrounded by people, yeah. you're suddenly at home, isolated. Um, but I think that there are a couple of things. I think firstly, it's of course mom that kept me going. Yeah. Then there were books and films. But I think above all these things was the greater understanding that boredom is an extremely privileged position to be in. The fact that we are so, I mean, me and my family were so lucky that that was the problem. Yeah. So many people have lost lives, livelihood. COVID has really changed times and how. And I think that understanding that, mm. understanding that the inability to do what I want to do yeah. is a relatively smaller problem. And therefore, appreciating the situations that I have mm. and being grateful for what I do have mm. is actually what kept me going. So, so uh, you said uh, 18th, 19th of March, 2020, 200 people, you're yeah. doing, you're shooting in Kashi. Holy. Uh, holy, holy. Holy, holy. So, so there, when did you get back onto set and when did that happen? And how different was it? Totally different. Um, totally different. I think COVID has changed us as people, it's changed the way uh, work happens for sure. Um, we were in lockdown for six months mm. and I think right after, I don't think I know, <laughs> right after lockdown opened up, the first thing we did is went to Madurai to shoot Chaka Chak. <laughs> and I was like, you know, this is great, but it's a 12 hour shift and there's like hectic dance and it's my first solo song and all I've done for the past six months is sat with mom, binge watch TV and like eaten a lot of food. <laughs> so suddenly like I don't know if I'm going to be able to have the energy to do this but that's touch with the thing about the line that I'm in you know once you're there yeah. energy is just contagious and it's just invigorating and like I said I think that what COVID taught us more than anything was to be thankful for what we do have. Mm. And I think that apart from my family, what I love the most is working. Yeah. So it was just surreal, great, and I, there was just so much appreciation and gratitude from my side to be able to be back with Ananji on that set, playing Rinku, doing my first song. It was... You know, every time you say Ananji, I, I, I look at Anand here as well. So, <laughs> no, we, no, have, no, no. We, have, we have our own Ananji as well. But, <laughs> no, but Sarah, you know, you just talk, talked about the, the song and you talked about how this was your, like, big solo uh, return uh, after COVID. 
that's like tantalizing teasers right now. So you know, you you need to tell us about, or you need to show us actually of, of chaka, what, chaka, what actually chaka. happened on set. So I'll do it if you do it. Yeah, okay. give me Anand the mic. No, 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 I got two left feet, so I'm An gonna, Anand, I'm gonna Anand take this is, side. Anand is the better dancer. <laughs> Shireen, give me your phone. Yeah. Okay. I'll hold oh this. Oh dear God. Okay. Hi, Chaka Chuck. Okay. Hi. Superb. Hey. Sarah, that was it's like it's like a magical energy. Yeah. Right? Yes. Super. Absolutely. We, we're we're energized. So. <laughs> let me let me before we uh, there are a lot of people who'd like to also. Uh, who we'd like to celebrate, because these are people who've worked on ground yeah. and really gone out. But let me ask you this before we call them. Were you the paranoid, are you vaccinated? Are you vaccinated? I'm not going to stand here. Or, or did you get vaccinated before you went onto the set? Or, or, or were you like, all right, if these people are going to come here for their livelihood and they're going to work, so you're going to maintain the distance, keep the thing, but we're not going to be paranoid about it. So I think that it's a couple of things. Mm. I don't know if paranoid is the right word, mm. but I was definitely very cautious. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Um, cool. <clears throat> I think that even though when I was shooting in Madurai, I was a little less cautious. Mm. But um, when I was back in Bombay, and I realized even while shoot was going on that I'm going home to mom, I think that is something that kind of elevated my caution a little bit. Mm. But even on Madur when we were in Madurai, you know, I mean, one is so grateful, one was so grateful to finally be on set again hmm. that we didn't want to mess it up in any way, you yeah. know. Yeah. And I think that there was fear. I don't know again if paranoia is the right word, but there definitely was fear and we took all kinds of precautions. I did get vaccinated after the completion of Atrangi. Um, at that time, you know, it hadn't hmm. really fully begun and yeah. it hadn't started yeah. and we weren't eligible and all of those things. But um, I am now double vaccinated, which does make me feel a little safer in these uncertain times. And um, apart from that, of course, there were precautions. There was sanitization protocol. Yeah. We were masked. We tried to maintain social distance apart from the whole <laughs> chaka chuck with people behind me who, when there were no masks, as you can see. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, yeah, of course, I think that especially since we, as a nation, and more than a nation, honestly, as a world, mm. have gone through such a life-changing pandemic. I mean, it behooves us to just be careful yeah. and be sure and not take what we used to take for granted for granted anymore. Absolutely. No. Very well you know? said there. And I think it's the good fear. It's, it, it's, that, it's the one that... Caution. Yeah. Caution. Caution. Yeah. Caution. Caution. Absolutely. Because it's, it makes you cautious and also follow these COVID-appropriate behaviors. Now, we are now joined by Mr. Satnam Singh, who is the general manager of programs for the last nine years in the Smile Foundation. And also joining us are Rupali Baile and uh, a and and Mohammad Amir, a health officer. a and is auxiliary nurses and midwives. Mm -hmm. So they're both from Thane and they worked with the Smile Foundation. So Satnam ji, Rupali ji and uh, Mohammad Amir ji. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining us and for also doing the kind of work that you've done. Shirin. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much. I mean, from, from all of us here, I think what you've done on the ground has been so meaningful. But Satnam, I want to start by asking you, you know, take me through what has been the biggest learning, what was the biggest challenge, the biggest hurdle and the obstacle that you had to overcome? So, uh, we as an organization, Smile Foundation, is working on primary health care since 2006. And uh, we are actually working on providing doorstep health facilities on the concept of availability, accessibility, and affordability of medical mm -hmm. services for the underprivileged at their doorstep. Coming to your question of hurdle. Now, as uh, Sara mentioned, 19th, you know, on 23rd March 2020, everything, everything was shut, shut down. Everything shut down, yeah, yeah. overnight. Yeah. And yeah. nobody at that point of time was aware that how this entire pandemic is going to impact. A lot of myths, a uh, lot of talks around policies were uh, in process. Yeah. And all our mobile medical units, we are running 50 such mobile medical units in a night got shut down. Yeah. Now, think about those people who are getting uh, treatments or getting mm -hmm. uh, medical services from them. We, they, they lost the accessibility to a, a qualified doctor and uh, paramedics. Yeah. That was challenge number one. Challenge number two, when we started the vehicle on the ground uh, in somewhere in May, when we got all the permissions in place at Pan-India level, how the frontline workers will reach to the services mm. to on the ground because the complete uh, system was uh, on hold. Yeah. Mm. Third challenge was like people were scared when we are going on the ground in the mobile medical services. People are wearing PPE kits, doctors yeah. wearing PPE yeah. kit, yeah. and they're yeah. so scared that 
uh, who are these people? Are they came yeah. to take uh, you know the COVID patients to the hospitals? Fourth and the last uh, challenge was the clarity hmm. among the people about the prevention and the referral part. So the majorly these four challenges that we have obstacles we have uh, came across. The fifth one, when the vaccine was introduced, yeah. the kind uh -huh. of myths and uh, was around, that actually became a hurdle for the complete vaccination process. Yeah. So that's how we have gone through, through that entire process. You know, Anand, I, I'm glad that you brought up this idea, the, the thought of seeing people in PPE suits. It was intimidating for so many people and it just brought up, you know, horror memories, stories and, and, and gave a lot of uh, sort of momentum to the myths and the rumors yeah. of what is going to happen if you're actually taken away to a quarantine facility and so on yeah. and so forth. And it was just a harrowing period because you didn't really know what you were right. dealing with at that point in time. Rupali ji, aap se poochna chahenge. Uh, aapne jab आप जब काम कर रही थी तो किस प्रकार के जो ये मिथ्स थे मिसकंसेप्शंस थे क्या डर था लोगों के मन में और कैसे आपने उसके उसको कोप किया उसके साथ में मतलब हम लोग स्लम एरिया में पाँच साल से काम कर रहे हैं और जब हम लोग गए तो हम लोगों ने पहले लोगों का ट्रस्ट एक्सेप्ट ट्रस्ट हम लोगों ने ज़्यादा उस पर मोटिवेट किया फिर उसके बाद पहले तो डर रहे थे कि ये लोग हम लोगों को लेके तो नहीं जाएंगे करके हॉस्पिटल में तो हम लोगों ने बताया कि वैक्सीन से डॉक्टर ने हमारे सर ने बताया कि डॉक वैक्सीन से कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा डरने की बात नहीं है और हम सब लोगों ने वैक्सीन ली हुई है उसका सर्टिफिकेट है हमारा हम दिखाते थे उनको फिर उस हिसाब से हम लोग खड़े रहते थे कि देखो हम लोग है खड़े करके तो उस हिसाब से वो लोग हमारे नज़दीक आने लगे और मोटिवेट करने लगे तो जब उन्होंने देखा कि आपने वैक्सीन लगा लिया है आपका सर्टिफिकेट आपके पास है तो दे फेल मोर कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट गेटिंग गेटिंग वैक्सीनेटेड बट उस वक्त आप पीपी किट पहन के जाते हाँ या आपको तकलीफ नहीं होती थी पूरा दिन पीपी किट पहनो सांस लेने के मुश्किल हाँ होती थी मतलब पूरे हम लोग पूरे जो फर्स्ट टाइम हम लोग पीपीटी किट पहन रहे थे और पूरा धूप का महीना था तो पूरा हम लोग पूरे बॉयज बॉयज आए थे हमारे पूरे शरीर में शरीर पे पूरे शरीर में और वो इससे मास्क से पीछे पूरा 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 शरीर पूरा एकदम रेड और पूरा बॉयल से भरा हुआ था तो भी हम लोगों ने उसको डट के फाइट करके किया हम लोग कभी आपको ऐसा नहीं लगा कि मेरे को क्या जरूरत है ये सब करने की मोहम्मद अली कभी आपको लगा कि मैं क्यों ये सब करूं नहीं क्या ऐसा कभी नहीं लगा आई वाज मोटिवेटेड बाय माय टीम बिकॉज़ मेरी टीम सिंस दे वर आई लिव अलोन हियर सो दे वर कमिंग फ्रॉम फैमिलीज एंड दे डिसाइडेड टू कीप देमसेल्फ सेपरेटेड फॉर 2 3 मंथ्स फ्रॉम देयर फैमिली या सो दे वर कमिंग टू फील डेली एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दे वर गोइंग टू देयर होम्स एंड दे वर लिविंग in separate rooms so that yeah. they don't get in contact with their families so this phase was continued for 2 3 months and it was more motivating for me that i am leading a team that has such members that are giving yeah. their 110% correct so par rupali ji ye tough nahi tha ki apne ghar mein apne bachcho se apne parivar se dur rehna ghar pe aate andar aane se pehle tum log side mein ho jao main idhar se sir ek ek do mahina to hum log society ke office jo rehte the wahan par humne din nikale hue hai sir fir baad mein matlab sabko pata tha ye to tough hai isme to hum log kuch nahi kar sakte to hamare family ne bhi bahut support kiya ki kuch nahi kar sakte to theek hai hum log lade rahe इनको जानते हैं आप या सर इनको जानते हैं या कौन है सारा सारा मैम प्लीज मैम मत बोलिए प्लीज मैम मत बोलिए नो काइंड ऑफ वर्क दैट दे हैव डन फिनोमेनल नो वी वी इट्स कमेंडेबल आई थिंक दैट द रीजन दैट वी आर सेफ एंड सिक्योर टुडे इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ पीपल लाइक यू एंड आई थिंक दैट जेन्युइन हार्टफेल थैंक यू टू ऑल ऑफ यू दैट गो आउट देयर रिस्क योर लाइव्स Stay in these PPE kits. Deal with boils on your body. Stay away from your children, just so that we can be safe and secure at home with our family yeah. members. I think that it is truly, truly commendable. And you guys are the real heroes of our country. And I know that you know that. But truly, Jai Hind to all of you. Really, really. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you have done so much work, so you should have a little fun. You know, a little. Now, I feel like this. I don't want to say anything. I'm talking to you on live television. A little. You give them a little. Just 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 a little.